Yo, so what is going on guys? My name is Vortex and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get modded race logos on your outfit. Now the outfit you make in this video, you can get all different colours and it does look really nice because like I said, it has the modded logos on your arms and your legs and your back, and your neck, basically everywhere. Now back when I had a good modded account on the PS4, these logos were all over it, like on invisible body parts like on my arms and stuff because that is what made it stay. So the game thought there was actually some clothes on you, but really you're invisible but the logo's tricked it. But if you do go on to enjoy today's video, as always, a like down below would be highly appreciated. And please subscribe if you have not already, as I upload daily videos just like this one. But with all that said, guys, let's hop straight into today's video. Now with this glitch, it's going to delete all the outfits you have saved besides the one that you're wearing. So put on your main outfit that you like. Now if you're wearing a duffel bag, you are going to have to remove it as it doesn't let you access any of the clothing options with a duffel bag on for some reason. So once you've got that outfit on, all you want to do is delete every single outfit, including the one that you're wearing. Because you'll still have it on, it's not going anywhere, you just need to have all your outfit slots empty. Once you've done that, press pause, go to online and go to swap character. So when you get here, you need to make sure your first character is a male and your second character is a female. Now your second character needs to be completely fresh. So you just make it right now. Once you've made it, you'll be thrown into an online session. Once you get into a session, guys, you want to go to any clothes store and then you just want to go out to the accessories section, go to gloves and buy the light woodland armored gloves, which is number 32. Once you've bought them gloves, you just want to go up to the main desk and go to air racing suits, just like I am in the video. Now in the pinned comment, all these give different colored outfits when you do merge it onto your male character. So look at that pinned comment and put on whatever air racing suit gives you the color that you want on your male character. Okay, so once you've got the air racing suit outfit on that you want, you want to open up your interaction menu, go to appearance, accessories, and put on the gloves that you've just bought, which are the light woodland armoured. And you just want to remove the helmet and you want to save it in outfit slot two. If you're doing more than one, you can go down from two, but just don't do it in number one, because there's a bit of a merge that you need to do after this on your male character. So if you want more than just the one outfit and you want all different colours, then just repeat the steps for all the colours that you want. Okay, now once you've got your outfit sorted out and your female character, what you want to do is press pause, go to online, go to options, and then just click kill yourself to take the easy way out because it forces the game to save. Jeez. Okay, so when you load back in, press pause, go to online, and go into the creator. And when you load into the creator, click create a race, then click tutorial, accept this alert. Once you've got that little message at the top left of your screen, press pause again, go over to online, and then just click choose character. Okay, so at this screen, you need to pay attention here. You need to delete your second character, which is the female one you've just made all the outfits on. Now, if you're on previous gen, you can just press circle now to go back to story mode. But if you're on next gen, you need to hover over your second character and join someone that's in a different targeting mode to you and their session also needs to be private. So Anawak should work for this. If you don't have Anawak, then just ask your friend to go into a different targeting mode to you and be in a private session and then just accept all the alerts. But either way guys, when you spawn into story mode, press pause, go to online and go into a close friend or an invite only session. Okay, so now when you get into a session, you're going to see you'll still have the outfit on that you decided to keep. So what I'd recommend you do now is go up to the main desk and just save it in your bottom slot. Now, if you scroll through your outfits, guys, you'll see that everything is transferred over from your female character, but you can't actually equip them because you do need to merge them. So what you want to do now, guys, is just go to outfits and go to racing suits and put on either of these racing suits. Now, there can be any of them. So go for the cheapest option if you're a bit skin, but I'd recommend going for the ones you like the logos of because they're going to be the ones that are transferring onto your outfit. So once you've got the racing suit on, you just want to press pause, go to online, go to missions and start It's a G thing. Now I'll leave that pinned in the description if you do not have this job bookmarked. And once you've got the job, restart your game and it should be there in your bookmarked. 
Now once you lot get into the job you want to make sure you change the clothing to player saved outfits and then you do need one friend for this part so just invite one friend that can help you out quickly. Once your friend joins just start it up. Okay now when you get to this screen you want to find the outfit you transferred over from your female character. Now as you guys can see it does have invisible arms now unfortunately these do not stick. And once you've found the outfit just you and your friend ready up. Okay, so now once the job starts, you just want to make your way over to one of your apartments. Now once you get into your apartment, you want to save the outfit in slot number one. Now that should be empty because we didn't do anything with that one. Once you've saved it, you just need to quit the job through your phone. Once you get back into an online session, you'll see you're still wearing the racing suit, which is completely fine, you haven't got to worry. You can just go into your interaction menu, find the outfit that we've made, which for me is done one, and just equip it. And as you guys can see, it's equipped, but the invisible arms do not stay. So now what you guys want to do is head towards any clothing store. Now once you get to a clothing store, you can change anything on this outfit besides the top. So you can actually get them ugly ass flippers off your feet, you can change the trousers, you can add accessories, but you just can't do anything with the top. And once you've made the outfit how you like it, just save it in your first slot, just like I am in the video. Okay guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to put some sleeves on this outfit, because I reckon it looks better. So you want to go into your tops, go to utility vests, and put on the peach plate carrier, which is number 43. Now you may need to put your gloves and your accessories back on when you put this vest on. But once you've done that, you want to go and overwrite the slot once again. Now all you've got to do is head towards the mask store at the beach. Okay, now when you get here, go to the left side where all the hats are, go down to bulletproof helmets and put on any bulletproof helmet, it really doesn't matter. Now go to the right where the masks section is, go to gas and put on the chemical gas mask. Okay, now once you've got the bulletproof helmet and the mask on, all you want to do is overwrite your first slot for the last time. Okay, now once you've done that, just go into your interaction menu, go to your outfits and just equip this outfit a couple of times. Then open up your pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, Rockstar created, missions and start up a titan of a job. Now if you spawn in like I did here with a mask on your head, you want to close down your game and restart this because it hasn't worked. If you did have to restart your game, just do what I said earlier which is equip the outfit a few times and start up a titan of a job. Okay, now this is how you should have spawned in in the first place. You should have no helmet, no mask, and no body armor. So now what you want to do is head towards any ammunition store on the map. Once you get to an ammunition store, you just want to overwrite your first slot again, and you just want to quit the job through your phone. Okay, now when you spawn back in, go back into the ammunition and go to the top section, or you can go to a clothing store if you like, but it should spawn you straight outside the ammunition that you just come out of in the mission. Now once you're in the top section, go to vests and put on any of these four vests, either the grey, black, pink, or pinstriped. I'm going to put on the black. And then also, once you've put on the vest that you want, go into vest shirts and put on either of these vest shirts. Now I'm going to put on the white band vest shirt. Now you may have to equip your accessories again, like your gloves and whatever else you've put on. It does tend to get rid of them for some reason, which is really annoying. Once you put your accessories back on, just go to online, jobs, bookmarked, and start up. It's a G thing. Like I said, I have put the link in the pinned comment if you do not have this job. Once you get into the job, just have your friend join you once again, and then just start it up. Now just choose the outfit that you are making. For me, all I have to do is go once to the right, and as you guys can see, you've now got a shirt on that's got logos all over it, and it has got a few tears in it, which gives it that modded look. Once you've got the outfit on, just ready up. All right, now when you lot spawn in, all you've got to do is make your way to the apartment. Now we are getting to the end of this glitch. It is quite a long one. Once you get into your apartment, just go to the wardrobe and save it as an outfit. Now that is the outfit complete, guys. You can now merge it with helmets, masks, accessories, duffel bags. You can put whatever you want on it. But I reckon this is a really nice outfit. Like I said, you've got logos on like the back of your neck, all up your legs, down your arms, on your chest, your back. I love logos on outfits. It's just annoying that they only usually come on the racing suits. But that's going to do it from me, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, as always, a like down below would be highly appreciated. And please subscribe if you have not already, as I upload daily videos just like this one. But thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace out. Mm.